Hey everybody, it's Peter Stromberg here. Just, uh, I woke up this morning and I decided this was the perfect weather to make a video. It's the perfect metaphor for what I wanted to talk about visually. As you can see, I'm up here in Northern California today and it's a little bit overcast, a little bit uh, cloudy and some mist. But at the same time, the scenery is beautiful. The trees are about to bloom. It's springtime, uh, time for rebirth, time for growth. And so it kind of led me to create this video today about the real reasons why people are overweight and unhealthy right now. And there's a lot, <clears throat> there's a lot of content out there right now that talks about diets and exercise and all these different protocols, which I believe are super important. And at some point we're gonna cover that too. But one of the major things that I think that people are going through uh, in the journey to have health, fitness, vitality, is it's an internal thing. And as you can see, the sun wants to break through. And just like with all of you, the light inside wants to break through. And you have this vessel that is beautiful and it's beautiful in a lot of ways, but there's a lot of things that people are missing. And a lot of it, like I said, is internal. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about internally dealing with yourself, I guess, is the best way to say it. And uh, there's probably a lot of different ways in which people can deal with themselves and a lot of things that are happening internally. So for me, in my journey, you know, growing up, I was an obese child and I had a lot of self-confidence issues and a lot of issues with not having friends and getting made fun of. And uh, that led me to a very unhealthy journey of uh, heating disorders and just self-harm in a lot of ways in order to try and become thin and fit and look good and be popular. And... I'm hoping that some of the things that I say can lead you away from that. Really, internally, the, the problems that a lot of people have are maybe it's trauma, you know, from either your childhood or past relationships or the way people interact with you because you are obese or you are unhealthy and people look at you a certain way or they act a certain way or their energy is a certain way towards you. Or maybe it's... Maybe it's the fact that you feel a certain way about yourself. Um, you don't feel like you have the confidence. You feel like you are not good enough or you have a limiting belief about yourself. It, not me. I can't be fit. I can't be healthy. I can't have vitality. I can't live a long, healthy life. Well, I want to say that that's not true. And there are people out there that want to help you and I want to help and use my journey and the energy and the knowledge that I've gained to pass it on to other people. Um, I've been in the fitness industry for a long time as a personal trainer and as a group fitness coach, spinning, st stuff like that. And I just want to say that when I see somebody come into the gym or come into my classes and they are overweight and they are struggling... I gravitate towards them. I want to help them. I want to inspire them and I want to give them in my energy and my focus. Um, there's nothing, in my opinion, more beautiful and more pure than somebody who is out of their comfort zone. They're out of their element and they're going for it. And they've got passion and they've got drive. And that's where I want to help each and every one of you get to. So when we're talking about those internal problems, that's where it starts. The internal reflects the external. And as you can see out here, it's it's a beautiful day. You know, there is a lot of things that are going to change in this landscape in the next month, month and a half. You know, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be green. It's going to be vibrant. And those things can happen for you. The, the external weight that you're carrying, it could also be an insulator. You're insulating yourself from the world. You're insulating yourself from the way people think about you. You've got to look inside. You have to look at what's going on inside of you 
that is keeping those pounds on, that is limiting you from starting. You know, you've got to start in order to get to the journey. You've got to start in order to get to the goal. You have to start in order to realize what you want because if anyone's watching this video right now, you've gotten a nudge. You, you know that there's changes that need to be made and maybe it's for yourself. Maybe if you're a parent, I have a nine-year-old, maybe it's for your children. Maybe it's for the fact that you want to live a long, healthy life and you want to show them what it's like to live a vibrant life, to live a life that's filled with energy and action and bike riding and sports and camping and whatever it is that you're passionate about, just getting out and getting after it. Because at the end of the day, that's what life is about. Life isn't just surviving and making it through the day and paying your bills. Life is thriving. And in order to thrive, your physical vessel, this body that we have been given, this piece of machinery that is, it's the most high tech piece of machinery on the planet. And it can heal itself, it can fix itself, but you need to give it the right conditions. So not only is it diet, not only is it exercise, not only is it environmental factors, I mean, look where I am. I'm in Northern California. I'm in not the middle of nowhere, but far enough out to where I don't have Wi-Fi. I'm not breathing in stale, chemically induced air. You know, the water we have here comes from a spring. And I know that I'm super blessed and I'm super fortunate to live in this place. But it, you can make small changes wherever you are to, in, to improve your environment and to make your environment healthier for you, your family, your friends. Maybe you make some changes and you become the example for your friend group. You know, a lot of you probably have friends and your friend group is in a similar state of you. That's typically what happens. And so you end up with being surrounded by people that maybe aren't healthy. They're not vital. They might be overweight. Maybe you're the one that makes the change for them too. So really when you start looking inside yourself, you start looking at those limiting beliefs. You start looking at that low self-confidence. Start really being honest with yourself. This, this journey starts with honesty. It starts with... It starts with taking yourself to a place in which you can be honest. And so starting a diet or starting a weight loss program or starting a fitness program, those are all important elements and, and we're going to go through those and you're going to need those. But the real reason why a lot of people are unhappy, unhealthy and overweight is because of their internal state. It's because of the depression. It's because of the the trauma, your body does not forget. Your body does not forget the trauma that you've been through. And it'll store weight, it'll store excess in order to insulate you from, from wanting to learn about it, to take care of it. You've got to take care of those internal issues in order to really get through and create the vitality that your body needs, that your body desires. Your body doesn't want to be overweight. Your body doesn't want to be unhealthy. Your body wants to be vibrant. It wants to be healthy and it wants to be full of life because this life that we have, this physical life that we have, it is beautiful and it's worth living just like this, this beautiful, beautiful landscape. And each and every one of us has a beautiful landscape underneath whatever's covering it. And their soul, their spirit, their light is just waiting to burst through and shine through. And so this video today is dedicated to all of you that are struggling. You might be in the dark night of the soul. You might be here thinking, wow, what do I do? How do I start? Start by looking inside. Start by loving yourself. Love yourself. Give yourself some grace. Say, you know what? Today's the day where I stop beating myself up. And I start looking for what's really going on inside. Why am I eating this food that I know is not healthy for me? Why am I doing these things, these, these habits that I have? Why do I have them? Why did I develop them? How did I develop them? You know, a lot of people, they spend years getting to a state of being unhealthy and obese, years. So why are you being that way? Why, what is it inside of you that is making you or that is pushing you to make bad choices even though you probably know that they're not the best choices? And I just, I, I just want you all to know that you're not alone. There's people that have been through this. I've been through this. 
You know, I lost 60 pounds from when I was 16 to when I was 18, and I'm 45 years old, and I've kept it off for most of my life. I have a nine-year-old, and I do it for him. I do it for him every day because I want to play with him. I want to laugh with him. I want to ride bikes with him. I want to keep up with him for another 10 years. I don't, I don't want him passing me and, and not being able to keep up with him when he's 15, 16 years old. I want him to be right next to me. I want to adventure with him. And so really tap into what it is, what it is you have going on inside and how can you bring it out? What, there, you might need help. You might need support. You might need to look for people that can help you. But know that there are people that can help you. There are people that want to help you and that understand. And the world as we know it, it's kind of rough. And it's, it's not necessarily the easiest place. But there are pockets of love and light that are here to support you. So I, I implore you to dig deep and to look inside and to realize that the real reasons why you are unhealthy and you are overweight are most likely inside. They're emotional, they're energetic, they're trauma-based, they're, be they're limiting belief systems based, and they're all things that they're real, but they're not true. And there's a difference between having them be real and being not true. And if you can work through it and you can find the truth, and you can find that your body, your mind, your soul wants to be vital and you matter. You matter and the choices that you make matter. Don't think, don't quit. Don't let, don't quit on yourself. Realize that the ultimate thing that you can do for yourself, the ultimate gift you can give to yourself is the ability to live a full life a life that's amazing, a life that's filled with health and vitality and feeling good. Because trudging through life, feeling bad or feeling bad internally or having some type of sickness or being overweight and have being hard to get up the set of stairs, I know what it's like to feel like you're on the outside, to feel like nobody's there for you and to feel like you have... You have nowhere to turn, but the answer is, the, the, the reality is you do. You have somewhere to turn. You have a lot of places to turn, and I don't necessarily know for each individual where that is, but it starts inside yourself. It starts with giving yourself a pass today. It starts with saying, today is the day that I start to make little, minor, little changes, because they just need to be little to start with. Just start to turn, change the course. Change the course because health and wellness, it's a lifelong process. I still deal with insecurities, self-image issues, and I haven't been overweight or unhealthy in 20-something years. And it still comes up and nags at me once in a while. It's not something that I'm ever going to just get rid of and stop thinking about. It's something that I want to be aware of because awareness is power. Awareness is power. So digging deep, finding what your, what your limiting belief is or what your depression comes from or what your trauma in your body comes from and fixing the root. You've got to fix the root of the problem in order to stop just covering over. You know, I spent a lot of years exercising and being this person, but I was really just, I was using perfection as a deflection. And I looked really good on the outside, but on the inside, I was still dying. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that are like that. And there's a bunch of you that haven't even gotten to that point. And inside, you're hurting. And I just, I want you all to know that you're not alone. And you can see the sun's almost breaking through in the background. Your light wants to break through. Your soul wants to break through. So if you guys can start the journey and you can dig deep, uh, I can tell you it's not going to be easy, but I can promise you, I can guarantee you that it's going to be worth it. It's going to change your whole life, your mind, your body. It's going to change everything. So look inside yourself because the real reason why you're overweight 
the real reason why you're not doing well or you're in disease is most likely coming from inside. So look inside today. Today's the day. Choose yourself. Thank you so much for being with me today. Have a blessed day.